Today we are going to learn about earthquakes. And the first thing we need to understand is the earth has an outer shell. Isn't that interesting? This outer shell is called the crust. Crust, you know, like you know, like bread crust. And I, I hope you enjoy bread crust, by the way, because you can't eat the crust of the earth. But I hope that you're eating the bread crust. You know, it's still yummy. It's on the outside. In fact, it's really healthy. It's really great. Okay, let's get back to the crust of the earth. You know, you don't eat the earth's crust, but hopefully you eat this kind of crust. Okay. The surface of the earth is part of this outer shell. Remember, the outer shell is called the crust. This means that hills, mountains, and valleys are all part of the Earth's crust. That means even the floor of the ocean is part of the Earth's crust. <laughs> Woohoo! So, what is the outer shell of the Earth? Yeah, the crust. And you know, it's fascinating. The crust has lots of pieces and is almost like a jigsaw puzzle. And you might not realize this, but these pieces of crust are always moving. In fact, they're moving right now. The pieces of crust that are below you right now are moving. They're always moving. Now, usually the crust moves slowly. It doesn't move very fast. When the crust moves slowly, you don't feel it. The pieces are moving beneath you, but you don't even know because they're moving very, very slowly. You can't even feel it. Sometimes, however, the pieces of crust can move really fast. They can move quickly. When the pieces of crust are moving quickly, an earthquake can happen. So when the pieces of crust move slowly, you don't feel it. But when the pieces of crust move quickly, you could have an earthquake. Earthquakes begin under Earth's surface and shake the ground. Here's a picture of something that can happen when there's an earthquake. Do you see the massive cracks in the ground? This is from an earthquake. The earthquake began under the Earth's surface. It shook the ground and it caused this crack. Oh my goodness, look at this picture that shows damage from an earthquake. See, earthquakes can also break down buildings, bridges, and roads. They don't just cause cracks in the ground. They break all kinds of things around us. Earthquakes are so powerful, they can change Earth's surface. Well, you may be wondering, where do earthquakes start? Earthquakes start underground at a place called the Focus. You can see it here on the picture. Now, that's a weird name for it, I know. It's called a Focus. We don't know why, but that's just the way it is. It's called the Focus. It's where the earthquake starts. The earthquake is the strongest at the spot above the Focus called the Epicenter. You can see from the picture it's directly above. When an earthquake happens, you don't want to be anywhere near the epicenter. While earthquakes are very powerful, they don't last that long. In fact, most earthquakes last less than a minute. And remember, a minute is 60 seconds. It's not too long. And did you know this earthquake fact? Earthquakes get scored by how strong they are. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Earthquakes get their own score, their own number. Scientists use seismographs to measure and score earthquakes. The bigger the number, the stronger the earthquake. So here are some common earthquake scores. A one or a two earthquake, you barely feel it. The three to six range of earthquakes, there are gonna be some damage, but seven plus any number that's seven or higher, 
for an earthquake score, that's a massive earthquake, and there's going to be tons of damage. Remember, the Earth has an outer shell, and this outer shell is called the crust. The crust has lots of pieces, and it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle, and all the pieces are always moving. But if they move too fast, that can cause an earthquake, and an earthquake changes the Earth's surface and can damage roads, bridges, buildings, and even crack up the Earth. And remember, the earthquake is the strongest at the spot above the focus called the epicenter. You don't want to be anywhere near the epicenter if an earthquake was to happen. Thanks for learning about earthquakes with us, a powerful way that Earth's surface changes.